by the end of this video, y'all are gonna be like, okay, Jesus is real, or this girl is crazy and she needs to go to like a cuckoo. Hello everybody, my name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. I post faith videos, lifestyle videos, mama videos, anything that I love. So today's video, I felt led to do. I am excited and I'm a little bit nervous. So today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys why I follow Jesus Christ and why I know he's real. I am not gonna give you historical facts. If you guys would like to see historical facts, um, I'm gonna be link linking a Nate and Sutton's video, which I watched and I thought was incredible. And they kind of inspired me to make this video, but um, I'm gonna add a little twist to it. I'm gonna just tell you guys my personal experiences. So to be honest, by the end of this video, y'all are gonna be like, okay, Jesus is real, or this girl is crazy and she needs to go to like a cuckoo, you know? But uh, yeah, that's just the truth. Um, I, I just wanna share my encounters with Jesus and just to show you guys that he's so real and such a personal God and that, yes, he was real. It's actually historical, historically proven that he was real, um, but, this is like showing you guys that he is still alive and I'm just really excited. I'm I just I welcome the Holy Spirit right now and I pray that he's welcome in your home as well. And I just want to just share from my heart. It's not going to be a formal video where I sit down on my couch, you know, like all my other videos. I might make a part 2, but I'm going to take it easy on y'all, okay? Cuz I don't want to scare no one yet. I have had very personal encounters with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. There are some things that I won't touch on this video because I'm not sure who's watching. I'm trying to get to know my audience. I don't want to hold back either. You know, I don't want to be fearful of man or anything like that, but I'm just going to take it easy on y'all. Yeah, I'm going to share just kind of like some, again, I might seem crazy. It's okay. I'm just nervous to start. Somebody mentioned the other day that there, in your walk with Jesus, there is kind of like a memorial. There is a memorial of your walk with God. There are little moments. There's, the journey is long, okay? These Three things that I'm gonna talk about today have been in my memorial that things that have stood out to me that like changed my walk with God forever. That like, it was just like kind of like acts of love from the Holy Spirit and acts of love from Jesus himself. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna share. And so number one I'd like to talk about was one time where I, was praying and I was listening to the song by United Pursuit, um, Seasons Change. I'm gonna be linking that down below. I actually, I think I posted this in my uh, worship playlist. It's one of my favorite songs ever in the world. It's so good. But I was listening to the, season, the song Seasons Change um, and then the, the Bible, the, what the words were saying was, though the seasons change, your love remains. Girl, if I cry in this video, I'm sorry. I probably will, but every time I talk about these stories to other people, I cry, so. Whatever, I won't be surprised, but whatever. We're, we're all friends here, we're all brothers and sisters here. But as I was listening to the song, um, there's a part in the song where it says, though we were far apart, you came running with open arms. And then it keeps repeating itself. Though we were far apart, you came running with open arms. And I just see like, oh my gosh, sorry. I, it's very intense, this is very intense, but I just, saw like a vision of Jesus on the cross and I was just like praying like I was just praying and I just saw a vision of Jesus on the cross and all my life I just whenever I saw him on the cross like that I, I saw him as defeated but he just kind of showed me like a glimpse of him on the cross and like I don't know how to explain it but in that moment God just showed me his love. Like, it sounds crazy, y'all. That sounds crazy, but he just showed me his love. Like, like I just felt an overwhelming love where I would not know how to explain it to you. Like, I, I couldn't love my own child like that. And I just kind of like heard his thoughts on the cross and it was insane, girl. Uh, I didn't know I was, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I knew, but I didn't know. Okay, so that was a moment, a significant moment where I was like, dang God, you really love me and you were not defeated on that cross. You were, you defeated our sins on that cross. And 
just like Maddie God, even though I was so far apart from you, like you you did all this for me and for my sin. It's crazy. Like that was just so evident to me that like what I was doing. Oh, look at I messed up my makeup now. But what I what I'm worshiping, like God is just so personal. Like at that moment I needed to 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 see that vision. I need I don't even know if it was a vision or like a, a glimpse in like back in time. I don't know what the heck that was, but it was clearly a vision and that was a significant memorial for me. Um Holy Spirit in Jesus' name I cover this camera because it's about to die. But um yeah, okay, let's calm down. Oh my gosh, this is like the that was like the first three minutes of this video. Okay. I better be okay because the next two are even crazier. <laughs> but um number two that I want to talk about. Number n memorial number two is um I wrote down here Pastor Liz and Pastor Jason. Pastor Liz and Pastor Jason. So um, that's the name of my pastors and my church and they're incredible. But when I first came to God, I was broken. I was a hot mess. I was like, nobody wanted me. Like I had issues with my husband. Like our relationship was a mess. I will be linking my testimony down below and our testimony. We have to I have two videos if you guys want to see that. But um, yeah, like there was a moment where I was taking this class. It was called Lifestyle Freedom. And there's a part for Lifestyle Freedom where it's called Encounter. And you go up to the altar and you pray. And I remember just being so broken and like, dude, why am I crying? I never cry in my videos, ew. But um, I remember being so freaking messed up that I like ran to that altar. And I was just so jacked up. I was so jacked up, you guys. And I had my hands lifted up and I was just crying out to God. And I just told Jesus, I was like, Jesus, I want to say, oh my God. Second time I cried this video. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a mess. But I remember telling God, I was like, I just want to see your face, Jesus. I just want to see your face. Because I was so broken. I was so hurt and broken, you guys. I was so hurt and broken, you guys, that I just lifted my hands in the altar. And I felt somebody touch my, my head. And I just kept my eyes shut. And I feel like I can't see anything like I get a glimpse of like his glory or something I didn't see his face or anything I didn't not yet I haven't seen Jesus's face or anything but I just felt like pastor Liz pray over me and I don't know I can't explain it I just felt so much love like so much love and so the service kept going on I thought other people were getting prayed for but girl I ended up knocking out because the Holy Spirit was so crazy that like I just when I when I opened my eyes, I realized that there was it literally was kind of embarrassing because everybody was staring at me, like a whole congregation was staring at me, like hundreds of people. And I realized I was the only one being prayed for. Like I was the only one, guys. Like I like I literally got off the ground and Pastor Jason looked at me, he was just like, Wow, the Holy Spirit, blah blah blah. And I was just like, What just happened, dude? But it was kind of like God saying saying to me, like, I see you. Which is crazy, that's his name, and his name is Jehovah Rophe. It's, um, I think that's, I think that's it, but it's the God who sees me, and he saw me, like, I was just so broken, and I was so, like, hurt, like, who, who even knew? Oh my gosh, forget it, I'm not even gonna wipe my tears, forget it, if I cry, I cry. This next, the last one, forget it, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna for sure just fall into tears, because it's just, like, so, wow. But, um, yeah, that was, like, intense. I was just kind of like, God, what the heck? was that because it just kind of was like wow god like they believed in me and god believed in me when nobody else did god saw me as a leader and god saw me for who he wanted me to be before i like i could ever i could never have my own group i could, would never like ever do anything for god because i was just so jacked up and now i am healed i am like i am restored god restored my heart yes i'm still being worked on but that is just a moment where i was just like this is my new family. This is where I belong. This is where, like, yeah, this is, uh, my makeup is all messed up now, whatever. And number three um, was very intense as well. Um, so as I said, in my journey with God, I, there was a point where I was so hurt and broken. I remember there was one day where I just couldn't take it anymore and I just sat in the bathroom crying. Like, my husband was asleep, and I remember just having so much anxiety, and I was about to have a panic attack, and I, all I could do was cry and cry and cry and cry. Like, there was just days where I was like that. I was just so hurt. Like, nobody knows my hurt, and like, like God knew my hurt. Nobody. Like, only God saw me in that season, and sometimes my husband, you know, but I was just so, like, 
just I had so much despair in my heart and I remember being in the bathroom just crying and and I closed my eyes I was just crying like this I was just like crying and crying and crying and when I'm crying I just see kind of like oh my god y'all I literally never cry y'all watch my other videos y'all I never cry I've cried in like one video and that's my testimony but I just see like a vision of like somebody holding my hand like that like someone kind of like Ew, actually elbows, but somebody kind of like holding my hand and I didn't think much of it, but Whatever I didn't think much of it, but After that the next day I decided to open my Bible and I get Isaiah 41 10 and I don't even know where I left my Bible and my camera's gonna die So I'm gonna put the verse up here, but it was very clear where it said I will uphold you with my right hand and it was literally me holding like someone holding my hand like right hand like a little girl like I was just reaching up to him and like he was just holding me and it was like wow like he confirmed I'm not crazy I'm not seeing visions like God is real and God is like he talks he talks to you he will talk to you and I'm talking to you right now if you're feeling alone or you feel like no one can hear you or you feel like you you, you just have no hope let me tell you there's a God who's there to help you and you can't say that he doesn't love you because he's um, he's telling you right now that he loves you he is so real and he says that those who knock like and those who ask her search for him with all their heart that he will like like you'll find him it says you'll find him and he's so personal you guys he's not like he doesn't love you the same as he loves me i know that sounds very like what the heck like god loves everyone the same but that is not true he loves us all differently he loves us infinitely he doesn't love me more he doesn't love you more but he loves us so differently he, he knows our love languages and he knows how we need to be loved and nobody in this world will ever be able to love you how jesus loves you no one in this world will will just give you the attention that like god can give you i'm really emotional in this video and i'm just really thankful for what god's done in my life and just because i used to pretend i was just a happy person and i kind of was in my own way but there was always a hole in my heart my whole life and i never knew what that was and now i know it's jesus it was jesus that was missing and if you feel that way like man like you have everything you have money you have the husband you have everything but you still feel a void let me tell you what that void is it's jesus and if you feel like you don't know what you're doing with your life and you feel like confused all the time let me tell you what's missing it's not a career it's not money it's jesus if you think it's followers it's not followers it's jesus it's Jesus that's missing in your life. And you might be like, well girl, I don't even know how to start. I have a lot of videos on here which tell you how to read your Bible and teaches you how to pray. And so I encourage you guys to go on that and just find a church near you or find, talk to me. I will love to guide you through your journey with Jesus. No one's meant to do life alone. And the only reason I'm here is because there was people who laid their lives down for me and laid, laid their lives down for Jesus. And I wanna do the same for others because my life will, will never be the same and it would be selfish for me not to share this gospel with others and help them so i'm really grateful there's buggers everywhere there is like i did not expect to be a hot mess in this video but i know that whether there's 100 people who watch this or 10 people who watch this five people who watch this i don't care i know it's gonna touch somebody and it has to because i know the holy spirit is in this place today okay so I pray that um, God just speaks to you the same way he speaks to me. God, guys, and this is just nothing. Let me tell y'all, this is nothing. There's times, there have been crazier times where I do not want to scare you guys. Like, it's a little too much for y'all. Like, but I'm going to leave y'all on a cliffhanger just like that. Depending on your feedback, <laughs> I will make a part.